Well, for the first time ever, um, organisations have the opportunity um, for four generations to be working in the same place at the same time. And this is, this is bound to bring with it challenges, um, different expectations, but also perceptions. And I think what organisations could do is look at that as a positive step and not something that creates more barriers, but also see how we can start to shift working patterns to match the expectations of the Gen Z community that are coming through now uh, and soon to be uh, Generation Alpha beyond that. Because if organisations in a traditional sense uh, in the B2B space are led from the top by baby boomers who are expecting nine to five, face to face, in the office, hard work is the reward, versus the requirements and expectations of Gen Zs and Millennials before that were expecting more flexible working, more softer recognition and aren't necessarily as driven by financial reward, but more the opportunity to address a personal cause or a, or a hobby or something that makes them realize who they are. The workplace has to fit into what they want. Whereas the baby boomers before perhaps were going out to get the job for life. There's a real shift there. And I think with that comes a lot of opportunity. For example, we talk in the book, Modern Sales Leadership about measuring what matters don't make important what can be measured. How many times do we see organizations measuring list volume as prospects and therefore measuring the success of sales executives on the volume of a list and not on the volume of any qualification that's happened to make that an actual valid prospect? That's probably come from learned habits of old that are then passed on, passed down and inherited. And I think if we can really embrace the opinion and uh, demands of the younger workforce so it's not always top down it's from bottom up we can listen to feedback more we can create a joined up culture that, that builds on learned experiences from a whole swathe of generations and uh, steve where, where do you sit on that <laughs> well I, 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 you told me i'm a baby boomer <laughs> so i mean i've because i've worked in you know corporate environments before probably quite a heavy base of baby boomers and, and i remember you know when the younger newer person came into the team that, that, that you know, that sort of we were, they were put under our wings, which is quite an interesting piece when you talk about repeating habits, right? Mm. Um, and I, I, I question now in an organizational culture whether that is the default position, go under the person that's been here the longest, particularly when you start to see the different skill sets that we need to succeed in business. So, yeah, if you think about our organization, you know, you think about how digitalization, how uh, a more um, social media presence, how creating personality behind our brand and not actually just being the brand we represent starts to have tangible benefit in the in, in, in the marketplace. So I think the more and more organizations recognize that it's the, the right person for the job and not maybe the longest server, and they realize that the individual plays a role in the success of the sales outcomes and the sales results versus the brand, we start to see this, this flip in culture that starts to recognize the four generations you spoke about. Mm.